right so again you start with a slip knot on your hook and then you go into the second or first of the two chain spaces in your corner and then slip stitch like so and then go into your second chain space And then check when you get to the first chain space between your blocks whether they line up and they do. So if you carry on until you get to the middle and I'll show you how to, to do that. Alright, so I'm now doing the joining of the two. So that's the first of the two in the corner and then this sh should give you a nice center join it is quite fiddly and, and faffy trying to get the front and the back stitches like so then you just go over, pick up the second stitch or first depending on which way you look at it. When I find. like so and then slip stitch And again, if you just want to check that everything's lining up. Just open it out. And it is doing. So sometimes you get big gaps. But when you block it, um, that should go. And then you carry on to the end um, and fasten off like I've just showed you. But if you carry on, I'll show you again in a second. And to finish off the row, you then just, again, a slip stitch in the last two stitches, which are your two in your corner.
like so. And then you cut your wool and then slip stitch through that stitch and then pull it tight. So that's your first one complete and you just do the same with the second one.